All right, let's go over 15.2, and that's going to go over buffered solutions. I'm going to do a couple of them, and you can check them. And I'm going to try and keep this to a minimum of the maximum of 10 minutes. So the first one I did was number five. So if you want to go pause and read the question, it basically says that you have a solution that contains 0 0.350 moles of uh, CH3N and you have 0 0.050 moles of CH3 cubed NH plus. All right, and enough water to make one liter. So that means this is now our molarity. So that makes life easier. And then it says that we want we know that the KB is equal to 6.25 times 10 to the negative fifth. All right, so, um, it, and it asks, uh, calculate the value of the hydroxide when you have these two solutions together. So um, let's do that. So we have um, CH3, uh, three of those N, plus we're going to add it to water, and then this is basic, so this is a base, and we're going to get uh, CH3, uh, three NH um, plus, plus we're going to get OH negative, so that's our conjugate acid. And then it says we're going to start with 0 0.350 molarity of this, and we're going to start with 0 0.050 molarity of that. So according to Le Chatelier's, this common ion is going to send it backwards. All right, so let's plug in. And you can do the ice if you want. I'm not going to. So pause for a minute and set it up. And then you can uh, unpause it and see if you set it the way I have. All right, so that's how I would write out the expression. And then I would solve for x. So go ahead and solve for x. If you want to, you can pause for a second. And when I did, I got x equals 4.38 times 10 to the negative fourth molarity. Now, if you were asked for pH, you would plug that into the log. And remember, you would get the pOH because you're solving for OH, which I went ahead and did, which was 3.36 just for the practice. And then to get the pH, I would remember to take uh, 14 minus the 3.36, and I would get a pH of 10.64, which makes sense because this is a basic solution. So that's how I do number five. All right, then the other one I did was number seven. So let's do that. So take a minute now and read number seven. All right, it tells you to look in the back of your book to find the K. Um, a for this, and this is the second dissociation because it's already got a charge. So the Ka for the second hydrogen coming off for this particular one is 6.2 times 10 to the negative eighth. And then I'm going to plug that in, and I'm going to get that the concentration of the hydrogen is zero when we start, so we're going to use an X for that. But it's a buffered solution, so it tells you that you have um, 0 0.150 molarity of this, and you have 0 0.10 molarity of that. So I'm going to plug in the 0 0.10 um, for that, and again this is plus X, but since this is so such a small Ka, we can say that's zero over the 0.150 molarity of that. So this is our math, so pause right now and see if you get the same answer as me. All right, so hopefully you found out the hydrogen concentration at this point for this particular problem, and when I did it, I got that it was equal to uh, 9.7 times 10 to the negative eighth, and believe it or not, if you figure out the pH of that, it's basically 
neutral. So the pH is actually slightly basic, 7.03, but you know, let's call it even, because what's happening is the conjugate base is creating an issue. So, and if you check your answer at the back, that's the one they have in the back of the textbook or in the packet that I gave you guys. All right, the last one we're going to do is number 12. And uh, number 12 says, what's the ratio of acetic acid to sodium acetate to prepare a buffer whose pH is 4.81? So the way you do this is you're going to use Henderson-Hesselbeck. And Henderson-Hesselbeck says the pH is going to be the equal to the pKa of the acid you're using plus the log of the base over the concentration of the acid. Okay, so we want to know what this ratio is, and we're told that it's acetic acid. So if you plug in um, and get the negative log of the Ka, which is 1.8 times 10 to the negative fifth, then you're going to get that the pKa is equal to 4.74, and you may recognize that number because we've used it a lot. So we want a pH of 4.81, and that's going to be equal to the 4.74 plus the log of the concentration of the base over the acid. So if you solve for that, don't forget you got to do inverse log. We're going to get that the difference. is uh, 0 0.07 equals the log of the concentration of B over A. So now we're going to have to do inverse log, which means we're going to take that to the power. So I'm going to plug that in, and I'm going to do inverse log on my calculator, and I'm going to get basically that the relationship is for every 1.17 of the base, I need 1.00 of the acid. Uh, another way you can look at that is for every 1.00 of those, uh, we're going to get 0.85 of those. So for every 1.7 of the base, you're going to need one of the acid, or for every one of the base, you need 0.85 of the acid. Either way, the math's the same, but I believe at the back of the book, they gave you this ratio, and they're actually the same mathematically if you plug them in. So that's how to do, uh, basically, how to do your buffered solution calculations. And so give a few at the back of the section a try or just do the ones that we did in this recording.